What's up everyone? Welcome to um, the help video to get through your rapid population by season in Gizmo Lab. So I'm going to start by showing you where to find it in your course content. So I've opened up my um, biology homepage. You're going to click into unit one and then you will see um, down here under population ecology, rabbit population by season Gizmo Lab. Um, so if you click that it's going to open. Alternatively you can also click tools and assignments and you'll see it under your assignments category as well. So either way, you can um, access the lab. Um, this is the information right here. You need to be downloading the lab attached to this document, which is attached right here at the bottom. Um, and you'll also be logged into your Explore Learning account. So I've got Explore Learning open in a new tab. <laughs> well, I thought I did right here. Okay, here's our main Explore Learning, and then you'll have the rabbit population by season launched. Okay, so you should already be logged in. If you are not logged in, Hold on one second. I'm going to show you uh, real quick the enrollment code. So there's the enrollment code if you've not yet logged in. That's for our class HXH2VJC4HB. And that should get you logged in uh, when you're logging in from the main Explore Learning account page if you don't have an account yet. Okay. So again, I am on Rabbit Population by Season. I'm going to launch this gizmo. And then I'm going to have the lab document opened as well. So I've clicked, downloaded the lab document. You can save it wherever you save your stuff normally. And then just pull it open so that we can go through it one at a time. Um, if you have already attended Class Connect and watched or with Ms. Connell today on Tuesday, then you probably already got through a couple of these questions. But I want to make sure that you know how to complete this lab. Up at the top, anytime you open a lab document from us on the Dropbox, you always have to click Enable Editing to give you access to it. Okay. Notice it says all questions highlighted in yellow will be graded, so these are the ones you need to answer. So we've got um, activity A talking about carrying capacity. So we're going to get the gizmo ready and click the reset button, which it should already be set up properly, but let's just double check that it is. Okay, I've made it full screen so you can see it better. Um, can't reset it, so it's already done, so we are good. So let's go back to our lab. What do you think some of the limiting factors, what, sorry, the limiting factors, any factor that controls the growth? Okay, so something that's going to control the growth of a population, which a population is a, spe uh, a group of organisms of the same species in the same location at the same time. So all the rabbits living in this one situation or situational area in the gizmo. So what are some things that are going to be the limiting factors for the rabbit population? So let's go to our gizmo and just take a look. There's the simulation. It talks about, oh, land and conditions. So what's going to happen when I go little, moderate, ample. okay, so the amount of land could be a condition that's going to limit the population of the rabbits. And then you can see different, I'm going to go back to ample, um, you can see different conditions that might affect it. Um, harsh winter, cold spring, hot summer, those are going to be affecting the population as well. So maybe um, climate issues. So we can have amount of land or climate. That could be a good answer for their first question right here for number one. This is a think about it. So as long as you have an answer that's somewhat related, you'll get your points for it. Okay. Number two, select the description tab and set the simulation speed to fast. Okay. Select the description. Okay. So simulated, simulation speed goes to fast. Got it. Select the graph tab. Click play and allow the simulation to run for at least 10 years. So I'm going to click on the graph tab. I already know that I'm going to have to zoom out a little bit so I can see all of my 10 years across the bottom. So I just click that minus button to zoom out and then I'm going to watch it go for 10 years. I have not changed or added any conditions. It's just the default conditions from when we had it started and set up. So we're watching it go. Okay, it's growing, growing, growing. We kind of see that exponential growth pattern as it's growing high, high, high. Oh, and then around year four not growing as, as exponentially. I'm seeing the up and down that I see every year. So up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Now it's kind of hitting a, a leveling off point. So at this point we've hit 10 years because we're at 12. We've gone beyond the 10 years. So we're good. We've got enough data on the graph to answer the questions that it's asking us to. Dun, 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 dun. Describe how the rabbit population changed. Whoa, that's what I was just explaining. From year zero when we started, it was growing, it was growing, it was growing, it was growing. And then about year five, we kind of stopped growing as fast. And now we're kind of stuck here with this up and down pattern. And that up and down pattern, you guys, is our seasons. If we were to zoom in on this and move our graph a little, 
you can see at this point in the year, it splits up the whole year also. So you can see the beginning of the year, the middle of the year, which would be like your summer and your end of the year. So you can see beginning of the year, our rabbit population is growing exponentially again, and then it starts a slow, steady decline through summer, fall, winter, okay? And then it grows, grows, grows again in the spring, and then summer, fall, winter goes back down. Think about the conditions that are occurring. That's a typical pattern you're gonna see throughout each of the years. But for the most part, it's staying right around this 400 mark. Does everyone agree with that? That's what I would write right here. It's growing, growing, growing until what year? And then what happens after that point? What pattern did you see? That's the up and down pattern. Why are we seeing rabbits growing and then dropping? So you see an increase in the population and then a decrease right around summertime. Right? That's right in the middle of the half mark. So that's like after the first quarter, which would be like your summertime, summer, summer, summertime. Okay? So that's a pattern. Number three. Analyze. The carrying capacity is the maximum number of individuals of a particular species that an environment can support. All environments have it. So basically they're saying this environment has a carrying capacity. Okay? What is this environment's approximate carrying capacity? Note, average the summer and the winter carrying capacities. Well, let's take a look. I'm going to use the table chart because I think it's a little easier to see. I'm going to go down to after we think we've hit that carrying capacity, which is with after right about like your five, like all go six and seven. So it says to average the summer and the winter. So here's summer, 432, winter, 406. So to average that, I'm going to open up my handy dandy calculator. Dun, dun, dun. 432 plus 406. Oh. Oh, no, 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 clear. <laughs> Backspace, there you go. Four, zero, six, okay. That's gonna give us a number. We divide that by two, because we're averaging it. So it's about 419, 420. That would be a really decent carrying capacity. And yours is probably gonna be a little different because everyone's data is a little off. Because um, it's real life situation. So it's not gonna give you the same exact data. Um, and again, that's I got that number from averaging. The 436 summer and 406, or whatever the numbers were, 406 winter. Oh, shoot. I have my question. Oh, this is a B. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay. When, when did the rabbit population reach carrying capacity? So when did it reach carrying capacity? So again, you got to go back to your graph. Dun, 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 dun. And remember, we talked about this in Class Connect on Monday. Whoa. Carrying capacity is when your graph kind of starts to level off. You'll see the normal up and down, which is just your seasonal growth and um, like birth and death, birth and death, birth and death. But you're going to have that average um, period. So I would say it started right around this part right here. So that's between, I would say, year four, year five. So that's what I would write for your next question if you're doing this right. Then comes the challenging part. We forgot to add one little direction in here, and that is for the CER, we want you to play with the gizmo. Add in some different factors. So reset this, change the amount of land, change the conditions, just do one variable at a time, and try and figure out what's going to limit that. So carrying capacity, typically with this population, is 420. That's with no limits on it. Okay? That's with all the space we can have and not, no harsh conditions occurring. Okay, So we, we, what we want you to do is find a variable. What's one of those variables, one of those conditions that's going to limit it, that's going to make your carrying capacity drop below that 420 that we just came up with. Okay, So how you do that is up to you. I would say a good suggestion would be to definitely change either the amount of land or add in a harsh condition like winter, cold spring, or a hot summer. Try just doing one at a time. If you do more than one, it doesn't really give you the best results. Okay, so I would definitely do one condition, add it on there, and then make your claim. If it doesn't, if it doesn't affect the carrying capacity, don't write that as your claim, because we're trying to find a limit to it. In other words, the carrying capacity would go down. After you've played with it, you've got an example to throw in there. Get a screenshot. Okay, um, your screenshot is going to come. Um, the easiest way to do that is to do with your camera. So if I change to my um, graph to land moderate land, and I were to play it, OK, 
okay? You wait for it to go through the 10 years, whatever it's going to go. Whoops, I'm sorry, I didn't have too much. Okay, you're waiting to see what happens. Okay, you want to see your 10 years growing. Oh, it's taking a while, but once you have your data on there, I'm going to pause it there. I know it's not the 10 years, but once you have your data, you just use this little camera button. And what it will do is it makes a screenshot. Um, before you do that, what I would suggest you do is add some arrows on there. So there's this cool toolbar option, and you can actually show me, like, what you can drag an arrow from the tools, and then you can actually um, use that, like, red arrow in your description, because not only does it say to insert a screenshot, um, but you have to actually describe it. So the screenshot shows that when or where the red arrow is, the rabbit population was lower than our original population, whatever you want to say. So you'd have that in there, and you can also screenshot that, and the red arrow will be on your graph too. And then you right-click that, copy your image, go back to your document, go to your spot in the chart. I just hit Control-V to paste it. Um, when it says resize it, this is what it means. Make that graph smaller. Okay? Don't leave it as a huge graph, or it's going to make it huge to upload into the Dropbox. Whew! All right. That's a lot of information. But that's what we want you guys to do for your lab, okay? When you get to the reasoning, remember that's the whys. You guys gave me some really good whys in Class Connect last week on Friday when we were talking about claim evidence reasoning. That's what we want you to put here. Why do you think the winter caused, uh, the harsh winter affected it? Why do you think the amount of space affected um, the rabbit population? Explain why. And tie it back into your limitations of it. This is why the carrying capacity was limited during a harsh winter, during a time when there is less space, okay? That's where you're going to tie it all back in and give me those reasons. All right, if you guys have questions, please make sure you're coming to Class Connect tomorrow. Otherwise, watch this video to in its entirety and get the help that you need so we can get these labs done. All right, you guys, have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.